<clears throat> Welcome back to Centum Labs, you weird, you weird people. Yeah. Yep, I am back from my trip in DC and I am back to making and organizing and the dev team is back to making good content. Well, it, it was always good i hope it's oh, i hope it's good content i hope you guys like it but yeah the dead team is back to making content and we're going to be keep we're going to keep doing that until until new year's eve and then we take a break and then we're back at it but yeah let's go ahead and get over the newest thing our newest and biggest are not actually is this our biggest it probably is our biggest update one of our biggest updates content wise bio entry 0.4.0 now Aside from last time, this one is not going to have a release date until about 72 to 48 hours in. Why? Because we want to get it done. We don't want to have another bio and 3.0. We're not, we're not doing that. And we want to make sure that everything to the table is added. So no more, no release dates until everything is tested. Everything is good. Everything is, yeah. Which means this could take a while. This could take a while, but don't worry. I'll give you guys content moving forward. Hopefully not, not every day, but we'll see. But yeah, let's get into what uh, bio entry 4.0 has to offer the first thing is tablets and phone release obviously that that is going to be a 4.0 but we're not releasing 4.0 until tablets and phones are going to be available on centum labs that is the one thing that's kind of hindering us from actually having everyone experience the game in a, in a wider phase second thing which is actually already finished is the vaccine storage yep we have added vaccine storages to the thing and basically how that will work is after you make a vaccine from either your own thing or the printer you can actually place it in the actual storage units itself so yeah, actually let's go over to it uh, uh, let me go over and show you where actually those will be at each of these will contain vaccines for different viruses we might actually fill it up to actually have like, more things but and expand upon it but yeah each of these will hold about 50 viruses or 50 vaccines you can go ahead and take a vaccine you can go ahead and just just in case you want extra protection and people you can go ahead and vaccinate yourself and prevent a major you know disaster from happening but yeah that's where these kind of things come in that's where these um yeah cool things go in handy vaccine printers vaccine printers are actually very interesting so what vaccine printers are actually going how they're going to work it's going to be similar to the um to you know like the puzzle on here but not really it's actually gonna be like extremely easy all you have to do for the vaccine printer there'll be squares that you have to like you, know, you have to click them you have to get rid of all the squares in time and yeah it'll be random patterns too depending on the difficulty basically the faster you click the squares in time the more pure and the more stable the vaccine printing will be so let's say you take a really long time the vaccine stability will be about 50 to 60 percent which means this will only work about 50 to 60 percent of the time you know like this is not a stable vaccine you can you can do it you can put it in there if you want to but it won't be it won't be stable like at all really so yeah that's kind of the basis of that and if you do it faster you, you have a higher chance of a higher purity a higher you know stability with that a, a higher rate of success a lot of you guys have been complaining about how they don't really get anything there's nothing this room that we have here this is going to be useful now you guys actually get to use this soon so yeah but a lot of you guys have been complaining about how, oh, why don't you guys, why don't they get anything? Why don't, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get, well, guess what? You're getting, you're getting it now. You're getting it now. Congratulations. Next thing is the security scanner. We've actually shown security scanner before in the actual um thing. Like security scanner has been a thing. Security, security scanner has been a, you know, thing to be added in the actual yeah. security scanner. It's been done before. But yeah, security, security kit, security scanner, pretty simple. You scan it, you scan someone for, for, for items. If they have items, then you will know. They'll have like some kind of weird marker on them. We'll have like a marker on them, like a permanent marker that says if they're, if they're clear or if they're not. That marker will go away if you buy something. And if, and if they do have some kind of like weapon or whatever, they won't be marked as KOS, but they will even be marked as a target. Next thing, test subs with cleaning slash disinfectant shoe covers. BIBI 22, as you guys are aware, if they cough, there is a giant like blood pools everywhere. If you step 